Hello. Oh my god, this did not charge. Oh my god. Okay, well anyway, welcome back to the vlog. I guess I did not charge my vlog camera. It is close to dying, but um, today I am going to the bookstore and I'm going to try and find a book on anti-inflammatory diets or gut health one of the two but I my doctor suggested anti-inflammatory stuff so and I kind of want to eat healthier so I'm going to try and find a book that I can you know make meals out of for a doctor's appointment and it was a referral to a dermatologist um, which I think you guys I think you guys know that I work night shifts so mornings are really hard for me so <clears throat> my appointment today was at 7 30 in the morning <laughs> so I feel like so tired and a mess and whatnot. Anywho, um, I had one of the one of I did not like that dermatologist experience that I had this morning. Um, I went in because I have a couple moles on my back that my mom was like, "Oh, you should probably." get those checked out so they don't like become cancerous or anything. I'm like, okay. And I also just kind of wanted to see like if they might have any other insight about my acne or my hair loss. Um, not necessarily because I want to like completely fix my um, acne. I mean, I do, but that's not the reason I wanted to go to the dermatologist. I wanted to go to the dermatologist for a mold on my back because I have spent so long and I am a licensed cosmetologist. I've worked with acne specialists. I know a thing or two about my acne. And I have a pretty dang good routine down. So I went there and you know, like when the, like, nurse people take your information before the doctor comes in and they kind of like you know see what's going on take some notes so the lady was taking all that and then the doctor finally comes in looks at my moles for maybe 60 seconds at most says they're fine and then immediately starts telling me how I need to start Accutane and gives me the whole Accutane spiel about you know what it does the side effects the rate of which it works and the process on getting started with it and this doctor went straight from looking at my mole to telling me all this without asking me about any of my acne history, without talking to me about any of my like skin problems, without even asking me what skincare I use. He went straight from looking at my moles to going, do you have uh, 
Are you in a relationship? No. Are you on birth control? No. Okay, so then you should be on, like, Accutane. Like, nothing else. This man, this doctor did not talk to me about anything else but Accutane. So he's telling me this whole spiel about it. Which, as somebody who's had acne my entire life, I already pretty much know what it does because this is not the first time that somebody's told me I should be on Accutane. And then, pretty much, like, I could, like, barely get a word in. Like, I'm sitting there, like, trying to, like, tell him so he doesn't have to keep his whole spiel going for five minutes. But I can't get a word in. Finally, at the end, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wait on it and go home and look into it a little bit more um, and get back to y'all like I'm, I want to look into it more aka being I don't want to be on Accutane I'm sure there's I know there's plenty of people out there that have good Accutane experiences but I do not want to go on Accutane for many reasons which like I just don't even care to explain right now because it doesn't matter why I don't want to be on it. I don't want to be on it. I could see the light in this doctor's eyes just like completely go out when I say I'm going to wait on starting Accutane because I want to look into it. I'm weary about taking medications. I've been prescribed some weird things before. And I just... I would rather find the root problem of why I'm experiencing acne rather than just pumping chemicals and medication into my body because fun fact acne there is no cure for acne and actually acne is a side effect a symptom a hey hello what's going on to something else happening in your body which i've been dealing with with my other doctor too which I didn't get, I didn't have any time to even talk about that either. I didn't have time to tell him that I had all these other things blood in my blood test um, come up and I might have some other health issues. But he didn't want to, he didn't want to hear that because all he wanted to do was put me on Accutane. So at the, finally, at the end I was finally like, hey, I'm gonna like look into it, like blah blah. blah. I can see the light going out in his eyes. And he's like, well we can still like get the process started and like get you signed up online, whatever. And we can get your like pregnancy test today and the blood work done today. So like when you do decide you want to, it's ready to go. And I was like, no, I'm okay because I've had acne my entire life. I'm not in that much of a hurry. Like I'm not trying to get my acne cured tomorrow. And I think, I think it kind of frustrated him that I like kind of like stood my ground because I reiterate the second time I reiterated it I was like no it's okay like I'm, I don't I don't need I don't need to get blood drawn for the third time in a month I don't need to have a pregnancy test done for Accutane because I'm not I know I'm not gonna go on it so then he gave me the sample of some topical thing which uh, to be honest I don't even know if I want to take because I have such a perfectly curated skincare routine that I know works because when my body is in a somewhat normal state, not PMS, I know it works. The topical stuff I know that I have, my skincare routine works. And my acne only flares up because of things that are going on inside my body that I can't tell or fix, just with whatever. So he gave me this like sample of this prescription and they send me on my way, $50 copay for nothing. And I leave. And I start bawling my eyes out in my car. 
I, I could already feel myself, like, you know when the doctor leaves and just, like, the RN is, like, still there finishing up the paperwork or whatever? I can, like, just feel, like, the frustration, like, just boiling up inside of me. And I subconsciously didn't even realize that when I walked out of the place, I, like, did this, like, dissatisfied, like, head nod. I don't, they, they probably didn't even see me, but I just was, like, so frustrated Two to mention, I, this, this is why I hate, and I, like, I know people will take this into context because I know there are good male doctors, but I hate male doctors because, like, most of them, at least majority of the ones I've experienced because of how much of a douchebag they are. Like, they are. I've had um, a male dentist before, complete douchebag, complete, literally I would go home crying after the dentist. And now that I'm old enough to where I'm going to all these dentist appointments, or like not, all these appointments alone, I'm like, having to learn to be my own advocate. And I, I'm glad I stood my ground. My dog's coming in. She's gonna be really loud. I'm glad I stood my ground. Cause there's no way I'm taking Accutane. When the doctor went to leave though, because I'm... mature. I went to go shake his hand, and he just like turned away and walked out, and I was like, oh. Okay. Daisy! Anyways, I cried on my way home, and you know when you cry and it's just like all that tension up here I've had that like the entire day it's just so <clears throat> I just hate big pharma and I hate how every single dermatologist I've been to does that. I've had the same ex experience where they just like literally, the first dermatologist I ever went to when I was in like high school or middle school, I got prescribed antibiotics for my acne. And then a little while later, I got prescribed spirolactone. Never took that. Never took that. Filled the prescription. I was on birth control for four years. For my acne. And I have spent the last two, three years trying to manage and figure out my skin naturally more holistically, trying to figure out what the actual root cause of my acne is, which I am starting to figure out with my primary care doctor. And it's so frustrating to like, he did not, I did not get to share any information about my skin to that actual doctor. I didn't, he didn't ask me anything. He didn't talk to me about anything. He just said I should go on Accutane. And that was it. There was no actual conversation. Like, dude. It's just so frustrating. And so after I cried, obviously, and I was like, you know what? Okay. I'm not going to air out all my other health problems, but 
one of the things my primary care doctor told me is one of the things that could be causing acne and hair loss and some of the other like problems that I'm kind of finding out that I have is inflammation in the body. So I was like, you know what? I've been saying and then I want to try and eat healthier for a while and be more diligent about what I'm eating, which I don't eat terrible, but like, you know. So I went to the bookstore afterwards and I bought two books. I didn't really do much research. I just went to the bookstore and I was like, I know they have a selection of health, diet, recipe books, cookbooks. So I bought two. I bought the complete anti-inflammatory diet for beginners. This actually looks really cool. I was flipping through it earlier. I'm, I'm, I need to spend more time going through it, but it gives like a two week meal plan and then like a bunch of other recipes and it lists the ingredients too so when I go grocery shopping all I have to do is take a picture of it which is the best thing for me because the hardest thing for me for like eating healthier is um like actually grocery shopping like I can cook fine I just hate like I'm so frazzled in the grocery store and then the second book I got is kind of something that I've been wanting to get into more so recently, um, because the older I get, the more holistic I get with health remedies and just healthier living, I guess. And didn't look into this. I didn't do any research for this one either. I just picked it up and I thought it was really cool. Um, but it's called the Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine. And this is a, this is a hefty book. Um, it has detailed descriptions and uses for more than 560 plants. I didn't even read that when I was there. So, I'm kind of, kind of trying to start, take... Um, what's the word? How do you say it? Take back my own health. Um, this encyclopedia book is from Andrew. I'm gonna mispronounce this so bad. I'm gonna spill it out after I try and pronounce it. Chevalier. Chevo Chevalier. C H E V A L L I E R. There is, since I started filming this, there's a storm that's been rolling in. That's great. The anti-inflammatory book is from Dorothy Calamaris, Calamaris and Lulu Cook. Um, so I'm excited to look into this more. So that's how my day's been. And I cleaned my room earlier. It was really... My room earlier, which I think I'm including that montage. Wow! The wind really just picked up. I just completely lost my train of thought. Oh, the montage earlier of me cleaning my room. Um, that is like my messy room from like whole two three weeks of not being able to clean so now my room is clean I'm gonna start trying to figure out my health I also need to look into some medicines some psychiatric medicines that my primary care doctor recommended I look into to possibly taking. So, that's fun. Here's the two books. Excuse me, um, breaking out right now. I just really do not care, and 
I wanted to French braid my hair and I feel like it looks stupid, so just ignore. But I have each week three days off work because one of the days I have off work, I go and I work for my sister. So I technically have two days off, but it's still nice to have those three days off from my actual work. Anywho, um, I have been so busy these last few weeks and this is the first like weekend Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> that I just have, like, not much to do. Like, I have doctor's appointments, but nothing else besides that. And I kind of did some stuff today just to, like, feel productive, especially after my horrific appointment this morning. But I was like, dang, like, tomorrow's already, like, my last day of my days off. But I forget that I need to allow myself to relax without feeling guilty of not doing anything because if I just feel guilty for not doing anything, then I'm not actually relaxing and recharging. So I'm trying to like allow myself to do that. And I just hate my hair right now. Why are these pigtails doing this? Like why do they stick out like that? Whatever. Anywho, trying to let myself relax. And I want to get outside, but it is actually storming now. So I don't know. Uh, the house is in the process of being painted. don't want to go to work <laughs> but gotta I don't really feel like wearing jorts today um at my at my job I can wear we can wear jorts if they're longer than like your fingertip length or like you know you know um I just don't really feel like wearing jorts today. But I also don't feel like being really hot. I do have another pair of cotton shorts I could wear. I might wear those. Anywho. Actually, hold on. 
actually decided I am going to wear shorts, but they're like more of a linen type, but they're longer. They're men's shorts. If I want to buy shorts for work, I have to buy in the men's section because they are long enough. I really want to go hiking and like get out of the house. I find it's just hard because I don't want to do it alone. Like, I mean I do, I do want to go hiking alone but it's kind of scary. <laughs> I'm in one of those moods today where I want to sell all my belongings and buy a van and then just take off. So yeah. So the makeup that I do for work consists of powder and eyebrow gel. And yeah, <laughs> I don't want to go to work. My my friend is working though today, so it's gonna be better. My back acne is just very slowly but surely getting better. This side has never been that bad. I just diffused my hair for the first time since dyeing it. This color. And I've been like trying to like nurture my curls a little bit. Okay. Like, okay. I'm trying to see who I look like. There's like an actress that I feel like I look like. Okay. The curls are girling. I have no idea what the back looks like, but I always have a really bad cowlick, so <laughs> let's see. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> my cowlick isn't making an appearance today. Wow. Wow. What the heck? Wow, okay, the back is a little bit more wonky, that's for sure, but... I feel like it still looks really good, considering... It was all bleached, like... Look at this little, like, how it curls straight out. That's so cute. Oh my god. Whoa! I want to cut my bangs now. Don't mind the lighting, but um, I just wanted to come on here real quick. Um, I have been wanting to, I know I say often like I want to film more, and my life just gets in the way, but I actually do. And I actually kind of came up with like a little bit of a, a filming schedule, slash editing, slash posting schedule, so I'm going to see if I can do that. And also, too, we're going to be moving into the house soon, so I'm going to be, my stomach just growled so loud. I'm going to be able to film so much more there because we have so much we have to do to the house and I want to, like, make a new house series, whatever. But 
I'm gonna try and stick to this schedule that I kind of came up with and it'll kind of make it to where my vlogs are a little bit shorter because I tend to post longer vlogs but um yeah I'm gonna be trying to do that this vlog I feel like was very chill like I feel like this is like one of those vlogs where it's like hang out with me like we're on FaceTime kind of vibe um so yeah I'm actually going to end this vlog here and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully sooner.